When we set up those trailers 20 years ago, I don't think we could have ever envisioned where the school would be today. I think we all sort of agree that it has been the most wonderful experience, the most wonderful thing we've ever been a part of, helping give birth to this school. It's unreal. We did not want a traditional school. We wanted something where the children were actively engaged in their environment, in a small environment where they would get a lot of teacher attention. It was brand new to the area. There wasn't really that offered anywhere. Essentially, there were five people sitting at a table at Beth Everett's office with a dry erase board <laughs> and a blue marker saying, what do we want the school to be? And we all just kind of looked at Barbara for, for, for guidance, and we didn't really know what we wanted. And then, and then Barbara, I can't even say it, and then Barbara said, well, what kind of a school would you want for your children? And I was up there with the blue marker, and we were trying to figure out and we, what we wanted for our kids. And that's how the Oakwood School started. After my husband and I had children, we looked into the public school. That was not an option that we were interested in. It just didn't seem like the right fit. And I was like, George, there's so many people who want an option. We should do something. But everybody sort of had the same question. What do Lynette and George Johnson know about starting a school? We went through lots of fits and starts. Many of the people just kind of walked out of the project. Beth Everett and Heather Freeman and myself all just stayed in for the long haul. We just kept propping ourselves up and continuing on, even though we felt defeated all along the way, and we just didn't quit. You know, the success of that school in the beginnings, it was because of Barbara Packer. We looked everywhere, and we could not find something that fit the bill as well as our temporary site at the Ironwood location. We were ordering modular units to be on this property. Volunteers galore coming in to help build this star deck that was amazing. We would overhear people in the community talking about how they would never put their kids in trailers. And Barbara said at the time, look, bricks and mortar don't make a school. It's what's going on inside these walls that, that's important. I remember that first day of school. It was like one of the most exciting days of my whole life, taking pictures of everybody walking into those classrooms. And I remember like tears just streaming down my face. The honest truth is, is that we wanted the school to grow. We thought we had a great place going here. We loved what we were doing. We loved watching the kids engaged in the classroom. And once those two buildings went up with the playground, and the parking lot and the trees. We couldn't believe how much progress had been made. And we credit the parents and the faculty and the principal, everyone, the head of the school for making this happen and, and growing the school. I don't think I realized how imperative the gym was going to be. When we decided to add on the gym, I think I even questioned why the gym next? Why should we put money to the gym? The gym did so much for our school in the sense that it made us a gathering place for the whole school. We added a stage to the school. We added a place for other schools to come to and compete against us. And the reality is, is that perception is everything. And this, I think the gym really changed the perception of the Oakwood School. After Stuart McCarthy left, we just didn't have the right leadership. I think the thing that changed the, the tide there was when Rob Peterson came. Rob Peterson came after a transitional time, after the leadership problems that we had had. He made, I think, probably the most pivotal decision that we've, I've seen, moving the eighth grade, which was in middle school, over to the upper school building. He had a more worldly view about what the school should be and a, a broader perception of where the kids should go and what they should experience. Where Oakwood started and where they are now it's just really amazing. You know, you have the athletics, we have an arts department, then you have the academics. So I really feel like the kids coming out of there got a very well-rounded experience and it served them going forward. I don't feel like they were at all at a disadvantage. 
I personally, and I speak on behalf of everyone who helped start the school, we need to thank the people who are here now working really, really hard to keep this school as great as it possibly can be for our kids. It blows my mind, the growth of this goal. I'm so proud to have been a part of it.